Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to more of our Hopes for Triangle strategy series of podcasts. Whoa! So, this is, uh, so this is our number third one, so right now we're in the middle of our, th of our third podcast, so I'm yes. really interested in seeing what your hope is, Alex. I'm interested to see what yours is as well. Alright, well, without further ado, let's start. So, my number one, um... Or not, not number one, number three. three. Third <laughs> um, uh, hope for Triangle Strategy is Great. honestly, I am hoping that the um, routes will honestly, will be vastly different depending on our choices. God damn it. What? <laughs> is that yours that, as well? That was going to be mine. Uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of the same. I was just going to word it differently. But what, what were you going to word it as? I, I was going to say that... I want all of the choices to really matter and impact, like, all of us in a meaningful way. That, like, things are vastly different. Well, I mean, like, we're, I mean, there's nothing wrong with us both sharing the third, like, you know... If anything, it's just more we can talk on, and it shows that we both really care about that. Mm -hmm. Though it is odd that it's in the same place, so that's a little sad. I, I'm not really that shocked, honestly. I figured that sooner or later, one of our hopes was going to, like, you know, line up with one another. That's fair. So, um, the reason why this is uh, my third hope is because even though all, from the demo and everything that we've seen from the game, um, it's just that there's not like, I feel, I'm really hoping that the, um, the routes, like, depending on the choice you make will be vastly different because if it's just literally the same, like, decision, then I feel like it's either going to, then it's going to make me feel like, what was the point of me making the decision? Which makes you question the direction of the story, and it's also going to make me feel like I'm not going to really have a choice in the matter. It's really going to make me feel like this is all preordained, or this is how the story's supposed to go, and that it's basically just like giving me the illusion of choice. Like it, it's going to make me feel like that the game is insulting my intelligence for thinking that I have a choice in the matter when literally I don't. Yeah, the problem with that is that like. The game, especially like all the trailers are advertising your choices, your convictions will shape the world, will shape the future. Your choices matter. So for them to be able, like, I think that you really have the right of it, where it's like, we should have based on the choices we make, it should create different choices. Not that we end up with the same choices that we have to make, where it's like, all right, choose between this and this, and then, no matter which choice you make, you choose A or B, you still end up with the same situation later where it's still like, all right, you gotta choose this or this. And it's the same things. You should not get to that. It should be different things. Like say, if we, I don't know, say we turn over Rowan, we betray Glenbrook, and we go to Esfrost, then we should have like a decision of like, do we pledge ourselves to Esfrost or do we Fuck off to Heisenstein. Like, like that, I that's like Austin, like something. Yeah, but because if we, if we sign with Glenbrook, then it's like, all right, do we like do this or this? Like, like I am expecting story similarities, but I don't want the similarities there to be one to one. Like I want there to be some differences. Yes. I'm Perfect example that. is that is um Alex, do you remember when we saw the um uh, Nintendo um uh, site? When we went the, to on the Triangle Strategy oh, website. Yes. Yes, and how we had to make a decision of either going to Air Force and we get Rudolph or we go to Heisen team and we get Corentin. Yeah. I feel like that that is going to be, that's a perfect example right there. I feel like no matter which one we choose to, we're still going to have to go back to Glenbrook and we're going to um, encounter Air Frost forces invading, invading Glenbrook. Well, that is, see, that's why I have been worried about and why this is my number three. Because of that. Because we see that. And remember that we had Corentin in the demo, like, by this point, so that means we would also, like, either have Corentin or Rudolph by this point, so no matter which way we go, we would be ending up here. Because yeah, that... going to Hotteen or Esfrost shouldn't really matter in that. Esfrost is still going to invade, and the fact that they have this as the demo says that, yeah, this is a turning point in, like, a specific chapter that, like, cannot be avoided really. Yeah, like so. I'm saying that there should be similarities because I mean like, don't get me wrong, like I'm expecting similarities, but I don't want the similarities to be the exact same no matter what choice you make. 
Yeah. And like, this right here is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Yes, I think that around this time, like around the time of like, what do we do with Roland? Like this kind of stuff. That's that. Should sh be, that should be a diff that should obviously be a major difference in the story. Yes, because I think that like with that kind of stuff, it's like this is where our route split would happen, or it's just like this is where like if the writing is good, you should not be at the same point, no matter which decision you make, when you get to the story later. Yes. You should be in different parts. Mm -hmm. Like, like the, not be on the same path. Like, it this, like it seems like the, um, uh, deciding either to go to Air Force or Heisentine, basically it seems like the story's gonna line up the exact same, except we're either going, except we're gonna get different background information about each nation, and we're also That's gonna get a new character. Yes, I think that it's precisely it's mainly going to be a gameplay thing, but also we get a bit more information on like that specific nation and the other one is probably gonna be like a little we'd be a little more blind to. Mm -hmm. So if we go to S Frost, then it's like, alright, we do this. We get and Rudolph and we know we this. Rudolph. Yes. And we also get to see like maybe more reasons why S Frost is invading Glenbrook. Maybe we get to see like more information on like the people of S Frost in general and like how's their situation doing, like all this kind of stuff. Or if we go to Heisentine, like, we might stay blind to, like, Esfrost, and, you know, Glenbrook getting shit on is, like, just a real left hook. Like, don't expect him. There's no reason for it whatsoever. And, like, there's no way to justify this. We have no idea what's going on with him, because we haven't been there. Mm -hmm. But we get more on Heisentine, which, honestly, would be good, because we've just never really seen much about them, period. Aside from the fact that they're in the desert, they're a church, like, council organization, um, because they're, like, a holy state of Heisentine or something? Yeah, something like that. And we yep. also get Corentin, but... And... True. Corentin, so it's a new character either way. But, yeah. yeah, it would be like, you know, that makes sense, and either way, like, we will end up there, because I guess, like, context-wise, we'll just end back in Glenbrook either way, so it won't matter. Yeah. But... Whereas with, like, um, with Roland, Roland. Yeah. um, deciding whether or not to hand him over to Air Frost or... Um, offering to shelter him, that I obviously will see will be a massive game changing right there. I would hope so, yeah. But, and like, I mean, obviously, like, I'm hoping that, like, I'm really hoping that there is. That's all I'm really have to say because for my third hope, because if the decisions are literally just like they both like saying over 20 characters, I'm expecting to see over 20 characters. I'm hoping that it's like 20 characters different across every playthrough depending on our decisions yes because i also think that it'll be like we shouldn't get every character in every run yeah. like for instance like hey if we're helping out s frost well we're not but that's actually not possible oh, it's not well because well right there well the decision with either getting um uh, going to either air frost or heisentine no 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 but that's not what i mean i mean where it's like after handing over roland it would be like all right well we either, like, if we do that, we'd most likely be helping out Espros, you would think. But it's like, you know, there's, like, I, I don't know, because I have no idea what we would do, all without the fact that there should be multiple paths. So, with that, it's like, you think? Well, Maybe? wait, you're not, wait, what do you mean? Because now I'm like, confused. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm rambling a bit, but, yeah, I'm rambling a bit, but... I wonder, like, will there be a route you think where we'll help out Esfrost? Uh, I think us handing out, ho handing over Roland is that route. <laughs> that's what I'm saying then. Like, with that route, like, that's one thing. Well, but... in the demo, um, it was. I don't think um Benedict had the idea of like actually like he did, he doesn't think that we were signing with Air Frost. He's basically thinking that we we're buying our buying ourselves time as for a moment to um strike against Air Frost. True. But that sounds kind of dumb, then, because then it's like, why would you do that if it's like, why why, why would you give away an ally to them? Because like, he doesn't want to see the destruction of House uh, Wolford. Immediately, yeah. And yes. that makes sense, but at the he same time, no, it doesn't. Because then you lose out on, like, Glenbrook's armies, like, or whatever. Well, Glenbrook is already destroyed, we already see that. Yeah. Aside <laughs> from, like, the average knight or two, then it's like... Yeah, like, Maxwell, I guess, and, like... No, that's it. Oh, well, Maxwell's dead. We don't but... know. We don't know that. I, I am. I am. We. That is TBD. That is TBA. That's uh, TBD. I mean. 
hope he's not. But that also, that one knight, that's uh, like the knight commander that's loyal to House Glenbrook. Uh, uh, oh wait, the, the uh, Falk, I think you're talking about? Falks, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, like, we would probably get him if we sided for one, which, like, it's... Oh yeah, no be... doubt. Like, he is, like, he... Him, I expect us to get, actually. Yeah, but it's also, like, with the other guy, like, the sniveling bitch... Oh, um, that guy, I don't think we ever go with this. Yeah, I, I doubt it. But, like, there, it's like, we might... Because he says, like, oh, we'll bide our time. It's like, that's basically what we're doing with Rowan then. That's our strategy. So we might work together, or at least just not be enemies. So, yeah. That. But that's, um... But that's still, that's to be determined. Yeah, but what I'm thinking is, like, if we go to S Frost, like we're obviously, I'm assuming, not going to get Roland. If we did, that'd be very surprising. One thing I oh wait wait are you talking about like when when we have to decide between either Heisentine and Corentin and Air no, Frost? No, no, no. I mean like if we side with oh Air like Frost. if we hand over Roland, if are you talking about that decision? Like, yes, I'm assuming like we would probably lose Huad or something because it's like I'm not letting you do this. Absolutely not. Like I'm going to go. Oh, inside. I'm sure she's gonna voice her opinion or something like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like that's. That's what I'm thinking. So with that, it's like, I like we know. saw like from the beginning where she would be, where she was going like, um, maybe I should leave, like something like that, like on the bridge when we were about to like, you know, begin the mission. Yes, but also, like, you see in, uh, I think it was the first trailer, not even not the, and not any of the character trailers, but the first trailer where it shows like Roland, Frederica, and Benedict all. Yeah, that was the Challenger trailer. Convictions trailer. Yeah, they all voice their concerns against Sarah Noah, and like it's presumed, at least by me, that they leave after this, or they betray you, or something, or it's just like oh, yeah. they don't take in your schemes anymore. Bandit, I am seeing him 100% betraying us if we just don't if we don't listen to him. <laughs> but that's the thing is like with some of our decisions, like that should probably happen. Where it's like, yeah, some of our characters might leave, and I think that I, it makes sense if it's like, all right, one character. One of the lords, is what I'm calling them. It's fine. One of the main side characters. But I also want it to be characters that are tied with them. Like, say, for instance... Frederica and Gila? Yeah, Frederica and Gila. Roland and Huet, Benedict and, uh, and Anna. And, yep, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if one of them goes, at least one of the others goes. Yeah, well, no matter what, it seems like we're keeping Aridor. <laughs> uh, you never know. But I think Eridor is like more loyal to us than he is to Benedict. Yeah, so. no, he's literally the shield master of House um, uh, Wolford, though. Yeah, so it's like so, we keep Benedict, we keep we keep all these other people basically. Mm -hmm. But it's like I want it to be that other people will like feel these consequences, like people that are close to like those people. Yeah, so it's like, the way I'm seeing it, and I'm hoping that I'm wrong about this, is that it seems that the game is gonna have one of three endings. That's what I'm thinking because they could either do this or they could do it where it's like one ending that's just like really really minorly different with each choice you make and i hope it's not that yeah i'm really hoping that the endings will be vastly different i would assume they would be because... but it seems like with the way like they're portraying everything we have to either choose between utility morality or liberty i'm really hoping that it's like kind of like um D D, where like minor liberty or like major um ut utility that would be cool where you can like kind of double class it That'd be nice. I don't think that's gonna happen though. Probably not. Like I would assume that it would be whichever one is like really taking over. Like Yeah, in the way I'm seeing it, I feel like we're gonna actually get two characters that actually leave us. I would think so. Like and if we actually help out Roland, then that means that we actually just lose Federica and Benedict. I I'm not sure. If that's the case, then that's sad, but also like if it happens, it happens. Well, because the, that's the way I see it. Like, we get Roland, but we lose out on Bandix and Anna, and we also lose out on Federica and Jill. Because, like, what? it's obvious that each one of these characters, um, like, um, is tied to one of those three, um, like, convictions. Yeah. You know, morality is Federica, liberty is Roland, and utility is Benedict. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's obvious. So, I, that's the way I'm seeing it, but I could that's be wrong. That's what they've been playing it as, because there's three, like, they have the three character trailers, and they're all associated with one of the three colors of the flames on the scales. There's three scales, mm -hmm. so the three sides of the scales, I should say. And with, you know, three, like, specific ones that are, like, specific... What's the word for it? Specific itties, <laughs> I'm gonna say, that 
are like constantly thrown about, you know, utility, liberty, morality. They're all obviously tied to a character, like it makes sense. Also because that's like what they're showcasing off of all of them. It's like, Roland really wants to free his country, pretty fucking badly. Oh no, I, it doesn't seem like he wants to free his country, he just wants to kill the people that, you know, killed his family though. That's the thing, I, I don't- He hasn't like, really, I don't, like, in, anywhere in the demo, I can clarify this for you right now, it doesn't seem like he cares about his home country right now. But that's- He basically that's, cares, he's basically Dimitri, early. just not insane. Exactly, <laughs> but that's the thing, it's early, so, like Dimitri went through his arc, he's gonna go through his, and he's gonna care more about the country and the people, hopefully. than he is fucking revenge. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, but I also would like if he, like, keeps that darker side because that would also separate him well his revenge side? Yeah, because that would keep him like separated well enough from Frederica, who I don't really think will want revenge on anybody. That would just be out of character for her, unless something really, really bad happens for her and she goes through a character arc, but for the like negative. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh Alex, I also think I found an article where um, you may be actually onto something with Federica and Sereno's marriage being arranged, actually, and not actually <laughs> loving one another. Oh, yeah. The, um, marriage, I think, I, in the article, it's basically saying that, um, Federica and Sereno are engaged to be married at, for the unity of their two countries. Yeah. Or of their two ho houses. That's what they say. <laughs> so, because yeah, you might actually be right place. about Sereno and Federica's marriage not actually loving one another. Well, because I think if, like, it might not be that, like, oh, I, I hate you, I spurn you, and now I can never oh, no, no, no. Be I'm pretty sure love. that if, like, the more and more you, um, side with Federica, the more and more she'll, like, fall in love with you naturally. Instead of I, artificially. Exactly. Like, for now, it's just, like, yo, you, we're cool with each other. Yes, indeed. Or it's, like, you're okay. Like, I'm still warming up to you, but you're okay. So it's, like, it's obviously not, like, oh, yes, heads over here. Like, it's not a Romeo and Juliet story. No, I like, wish it was so, but it's not. Like from first, like from love at first sight, morning teenagers. Like, but no, it's it's not that. Wait, morning teen. Wait, morning teenagers. Well, well, that, but before that, horny teenagers. Oh no, no, no! I thought you said morning teenagers. Like, good morning. Like, wait, what does that oh. even mean? Well, afterward, it's going to be morning teenagers. <laughs> it? Some of them are dead. So that's not good either. But both of those are accurate. Okay. But with that being said, I do think that. Uh, yeah, Frederica and Sarah Noah's story is going to be interesting. I'm very excited to pursue that and see where that shall take us. Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing Federica and Sarah Noah's back, Federica and Sarah Noah's, uh, backstory. Like, if they actually, like, do one love one another, I'm hoping that, you know, that we get to learn more about that. Honestly, that would be really nice. I, I would like to do that. Like, I'm really, they need to provide context on this because so far with the trailers and demos, we just don't know a lot about, like, the background information of this game. That's the thing, though. I think that since the, uh, since we get thrown into the demo, like, Chapter 7, Chapter 8, mm -hmm. we get all this Chapter 6 that... proceeds to Chapter 7, which ends. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, like, with that, we still have, like, five chapters before. And a prologue chapter if they decide to do that. Yeah. Um, One thing well, I, I the thing the thing is though the thing is how they haven't explained a lot of information. I am expecting a t like the first hour just to be a ton of lore drop. See, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the first like five or so chapters is going to be just like all right story, lore but we're obviously gonna have battles thrown in there. Yeah, obviously, but it's like story, lore drop, world building. That's what we're going to have in the beginning, as it should be. Because, like, we'll get a little bit at a time, and it's like... Yeah, because with, like, three houses, it took you, like, a good, like, what, solid hour to get to your first real battle? With, yeah. like, the other houses? Well, yeah. Well, because, well, what do you mean, like, the mock battle? Or, yeah, like, the mock battle. Uh, oh, yeah, that took, like, an hour or two, I would say. Yeah. Like, on your playthrough. Whereas, with, was, whereas with face, it took you, like, five like, minutes. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it really is just, like... Here, I'm assuming that like the first couple of chapters are going to be set up as it should be, and then all hell breaks loose. But yeah. it's like we get to find out more about our characters before then. Like, we get to learn more about Heizetain yeah. slash Air Force depending on which one we go for. True. Yes, so that's, that's really cool. what our, so I mean, I think I've said everything I want to say. I have. Yeah, so yeah, that's our number three choice. Both of us really just are hoping that the decisions that we make actually do, are, are, actually do shape the story massively and not just like, Minor with bells and whistles. Yeah. 
And the thing is, is that it's not that, oh, like, this is just another, like, hope, like, we're just fucking pipe dreaming. Like, no, this is yeah. a, a legitimate, like, this is, I think, I think I speak for everyone when we say this is something that I feel like a lot of people want. Yes, and not only that, but also the game has, like, the majorly has, advertised this. <laughs> yes, they have continuously advertised it, so it's more of an expectation at this point, but still a hope nonetheless. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It always just not happened. Yeah, but this is an expectation that, you know, is that need that if they have advertised this, then it needs to be true. Because if not, then they're doing something that I hate that's, in all of gaming, which is false, false advertising. advertising. Yep. Yeah, it's, I've seen far too many hopes and dreams in false advertising to, you know, but... It's very sad. Oh, God. Anyway, that's the story for another day about false advertising. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video for our hopes and dreams. Take care and have yourselves a damn good one. Until next time, bye-bye.